Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Pam, and I'm here with the replica baby doll, Ellie, by Irina Kaplinskaya. And I'm going to be changing her stuffing. I'm going to be adding glass beads. Um, taking out her stuffing and adding glass beads inside the stuffing. So small glass beads and pellets. And that'll make her much more cuddly and it'll help her feel much more like a real baby. So I'll be adding uh, to her head, to her limbs and inside her body. So first I have to take out all the stuffing and then there's a whack of it. And I'm going to show you a shortcut where you don't have to take off the arms and legs and put them back on. So when you empty the body, you just um, have to push out each limb and be careful not to stretch the um, head opening too much. But then you empty the limbs and make sure you empty them really well, get all the cotton out or the uh, beads, the glass, fine glass beads won't go in. I found that out myself. They wouldn't go all through, all through down to the feet. And I had to take out some more stuffing that was in there. So I'm using a um, stick to get out some of the stuffing that's caught in there. Okay, here are my fine glass beads. I ordered them from a local supply store on Amazon. I said it was for dolls too, for crafts and dolls and teddy bears. I don't know why I'm using this um, funnel because it doesn't fit. Might as well just pour it directly into the limb. So this is going to make the limbs heavy, like as if there's bone in there. So I watched videos from professional doll artists to get uh, the idea how to do this. Check out, um, what's her name? Jackie Ortiz. I think that's where I watched the video. And Stephanie Ortiz. I think Stephanie's the painter and Jackie's the rooter. And, uh, but anyway, that's where I saw the video. Okay, now at the end, I don't have any plugs or anything uh, for this replica doll from Timu, so I'm just going to stuff it with cotton, and that keeps the beads in place if you use lots of cotton. Even fine glass beads, it, it, it uh, keeps them in place. Ellie is such a cute kid. I love her hand. The way it's splayed. I don't know what I'm going to name her. Because I won't keep the name Ellie. I like to choose my own names for my dolls. Okay, so the limbs are done. They're all filled. And they're uh, stuffed with the stuffing. They're solid. Now to stuff the body. And I have the nylon stockings filled with 
the poly pellets. I have an off-brand poly pellet, uh, but I have some po real poly pellets. And uh, they're in the formation of um, kind of big balls. And the way you get them is you tie them off, fill them up, tie them off, tie them off, uh, form them into a ball, tie it off, and then wrap the stocking back over itself. So right now, uh, I start off by putting a little bit of stuffing in the torso, lower torso to fill it out, fill out the bum. And then I put the first um, be, uh, ball of beads. And that's what I'm doing now, the first ball of beads. So you, you form your own ball of beads. And you tie it off at the at the right spot. I used to put in like long, long s beads until I watched the proper video. It has to be round. So I got to get it through here into the body, through the neck. So I'm going to use two, one for the bottom, one for the top. So the baby can fold in half. I always overstuff my dolls. That's just the way I have a tendency to be. I've never understuffed a doll in my life. <laughs> I don't know. I guess everybody's a certain way. Either they're overstuffed, tend to overstuff their dolls, understuff their dolls, or do it just right. If you want, you can leave in the comments what you tend to do. So once you have, um, like I put some cotton in the middle or some stuffing in the middle. And then the last bag of beads and then cotton. To f uh, sometimes I put not enough cotton in the top trying to not overstuff and then the head is not supported so i'll learn sometimes some of my dolls many of my dolls actually the body is ruined the head part because i've taken off the head so many times the cloth is is torn if I ever went to sell the dolls, I'd have to buy a new body. So tomorrow is the fall equinox, equinox, however it's pronounced. How do you feel about that, guys? Are you a fall person? Or do you think fall is depressing because the days are getting shorter? I used to feel like fall was depressing because the days get shorter. But now I love fall. I like the decor. I like the, the changing colors. It's winter that I don't like because there's, there's no plantation out. It's just bare trees, right? Yuck. Okay, back to the doll. Now for the head. I'm finished with the body. I stuffed that um, as best as I could. Now I'm going to open up. New, I have a new box of knee highs. Nylon stockings. We call them knee highs. And I'm going to fill up the doll's head. And just to say I put too much in her head. I 
had to take her head off and take out some beads because her head was just hanging off. See, that's too many beads for um, her head, for a baby's head. But that's the way you want to add the beads to the head, is just that way. That's the easiest. It's just not so many. There we go. Then I like to fill the doll's head um, to the brim with with the stuffing because you want to fill up the face. And um, sometimes during shipping, the face gets squashed a bit. And this will take care of that if that's what happened, if the face got squashed up at all. And this is an absolutely beautiful doll. And I paid $49 Canadian for her. Her price went up almost double after I bought her. I was so glad to get her um, at that price. There we go. Oh no. Here's where <laughs> Here's where her head is too heavy. Oh my. No, can't have that. Can't have her head hanging off. Like she has a broken neck. She looks like she has a broken neck. Oh my. Oh my. Lord. Oh my gosh. That's just pitiful. Oh, that's. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. This is where I had fixed her take up. I took out the extra beads and she still has her, 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 a little bit of a floppy head, but that's what I wanted. So it's a lot better. Isn't she adorable? Look at those rosy cheeks and those big blue eyes.
here she is all uh, dressed up in her outfit that she came in with her pacifier. I combed out her hair. I need to fluff it up to get the curl back. But she has her socks on that she came with and her hair her um hairband with the flowers she came with a really nice pink long sleeve onesie with a collar ruffled collar it's just adorable and so is she i'd like to thank you guys for watching this video take care have a great day i highly recommend this doll from Timu. <laughs> okay, hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye now.